The rectangular hole tool is used for making square and rectangular holes. So we will focus on creating a rectangular hole with a series of equally spaced square holes centered underneath it. First, I will create a large rectangular hole near the top of my panel. I begin by selecting the rectangular hole tool at the top of the screen. Next, I press the Enter Coordinates Manually option on the toolbar to enter my reference point. I enter the X and Y coordinates into the appropriate fields and then hit OK. When I hit OK, the Rectangular Hole Properties window will automatically appear. I enter the width and height of my desired rectangular hole. Next, I select a corner radius. For this hole, I want a corner radius of 1.5 millimeters. It is important to note, as you decrease the corner radius on a rectangular hole, this may increase the price. Also, you will need to account for the corner radius when measuring, so your device will fit properly into the rectangular hole. There is an option to position the hole at an angle, but since my rectangle is already in the position I want it, I will skip this step. You might notice the Tool Selection option. Front Panel Designer will automatically select the best tool to use, taking into account the size and corner radius of your hole, as well as the flexibility and limitations of the machinery used to mill your panel. Therefore, it is suggested that you leave the Automatic Selection box checked. At this point, my rectangle is complete, so I hit OK to place it on my panel. Next. I want to create a series of four square holes that are positioned an equal distance apart. I will begin by creating the first square hole in the series. With my rectangular hole tool still selected, I press M to input the coordinates of the first hole, then hit OK. Within rectangular hole properties, I enter the dimensions of my square. I want a 14 millimeter square, so I enter 14 into each field. This time, I'd like a corner radius of 1 millimeter and again, no rotation. As you can see, when I change the corner radius, the tool size also changes. I am done with this hole, so I hit OK. Now, to create the series, I press the space bar to switch to the Select tool. With the first hole already selected, I press M to bring up the Move menu. In the Select mode, I have the option to apply the changes to a copy, which is what I want to do. So, I check the Apply Action to Copy box. Next, I know that I want my square holes to be placed in a straight horizontal line, 23.3 millimeters apart. Rather than figuring out the exact coordinates of each hole, I can position the new hole in relation to the location of the original hole. I do this by typing 23.3 .3 into the DX field to the right. When I hit OK, a new square hole appears to the right of the original hole. Since I want four square holes placed the same distance apart, I simply hold down the Control key and press R to repeat the last action, and once more to complete the series. And now I have a series of four square holes equally spaced apart and centered underneath my rectangular hole.